Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. We will take this problem where we have to represent graphically. The coach of a cricket team buys 3 bat and 6 balls for 3900. Also she buys 1 bat and 2 balls for 1300 rupees. We have to represent this graphically. To do this, let's assume that the cost of bat is x and the cost of ball is y. The question says 3 bat is 3x plus 6 ball there is 6y that costs 3900. Similarly, 1 bat that is x plus 2 ball that is 2y that cost 1300. This is the equation we have got. Two equations we have got. 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900 and x plus 2y is equal to 1300. Correct. To derive the equation we have assumed the cost of bat is x and the cost of ball is y and then we have just read the equation, uh, the problems and got the equation. Now let's find the value of x and y which satisfies equation number 1. So this is x, this is y. So here, uh, since 390 is a big term, we'll assume, let's suppose x is 300. So if you say 300 becomes 900, and this becomes 3000 divided by 6. So x becomes 300, assume, then y becomes 6y is equal to 3900 minus 900 by 6. That is y, that is nothing but 3000 by 6. That is 500. So y is 500. So let's put this value. Y is going to 500. Next value is uh, let me assume this to be if I assume 100 also. Yeah, if I assume 100 uh, x is going to 100 also, the times this becomes 3600, which is divided by 6. So this is 100. So y in this case will be 3900 minus 3 into 100 is 300 by 6, that is 3600 by 6, that is 600. This is 600. Let me take one value, let me take y is equal to minus 100 first. So if I say x equal to minus 100. So if I take x equal to minus 100, what I get is minus 300 and this becomes 4200 divided by 6 is 700. So I will get y is nothing but 3900 plus 300 by 6 that is 700. So I got 700. So I have three points decent enough to plot the graph. Now for equation 2. Equation 2 x and y. So here also if I take x is equal to 300, I will get uh, 1000 by 2 500. So x is equal to 300, y will be 1300 minus 300 by 2 that is 500 so y is equal to 5 similarly if I take x equal to 100 I will get y is equal to 1300 minus 100 by 2 that is 600 so if I take x is equal to 100 y is equal to 600 similarly here also if I take x equal to minus 100 because I was I can see both the points are coming same, so I will take minus 100 or so I take minus 100 or let me take uh, 400. Let me take 500 because 500 is 800 minus 500 is uh, 1300 minus 500 is 800, so I will take 500. So x equal to 500 if I take 500, this becomes y is equal to nothing but. 1300 minus 500 by 2, that is 400. Now let me plot the graph. This is 0, this is 100, this is 200, 300, 400, 500. Okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And it is 500, 400, 300. 200, 200. The first point is 300, 500. So this is 300, this is 500, 
this is my plus one. Second point is 100 comma 600. This is 100, and then we have 600. Why is 600? We have bigger ones. So x is equal to how many divided? This is 600. 500. 600 comes somewhere here, right? And then if you say uh, minus 100. This point x by the minus bit, y is equal to 700, even higher. This point. These three points, if we join, we get the line. So let's join these points. We join this, we get line like this. Correct? Right. Now let's draw the line for equation 2 x is equal to 300, y is equal to 500, 300, 500, same point, x is equal to 100, y is equal to 600, same point, and x is equal to 500, y is equal to 400. This is 5, this is 4, this is 5, this is 4, this point. So if you see, the points are coinciding. That means both the lines are same. So this has an infinite solution. Infinite solution, and this is the graphical representation. Correct. Right. What we have done, we have assumed bat to be x, ball to be y, cost price, uh, the MRP, the price of this, and then we have uh, got the equation 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900, and x plus 2y is equal to 1300. We got the values of x and y for these two equations, we plotted the graph, and we found that both the lines are coincident. Let's take one more example. Here we have to find solution graphically. Not only just representation, we have to find the actual solution graphically. The question says half of the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is one meter more than its width is three meter. Find the dimension of the garden. So let me assume this is length. Length to be x, x and there to be what? Half perimeter of the rectangular garden whose length is 1 meter more than its width. That is length minus breadth is 1 meter. So we can say x minus y is equal to. That is the first equation. It is saying that length is 1 meter more than its width. So I can say x minus y is equal to 1. Correct. Now the second thing is half perimeter of this is 3 meter. So the perimeter is 3 into 2. Because half perimeter is 3, so perimeter is 6. Correct. Or half perimeter is nothing but length plus breadth. That is half perimeter. So we can see that x plus y is equal to 3. Because half perimeter is 3 meter. So we have two equations. We have two equations, now we have to find the solution for this. Now let's do for one equation, this is equation 1, let's do this is equation. Okay, now let's find the point. This is x, this is y. So if I assume x to be, uh, let's suppose by assume x is y comes out to be x minus 1 actually. So if I assume x to be 1, y becomes 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. If I assume x to be 2, y comes out to be 1. If I assume x to be 3, y comes out to be 2. Three points are more than sufficient for me to plot this x minus y is equal to 1. Similarly, for x plus y is equal to 2, this is equation 1. For equation 2, this is x and y. So if I assume x is equal to 0, y will become 3. If I assume y is equal to 0, x will become 3. If I assume x is equal to 1, y will become 2. If I assume x is equal to 2, y will become 1. Because sum is 3, x plus y is equal to 2. So these two points we get. Correct? If you see, this is the value we get. 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0, 1, 2, 2. We just got this two equation. For this two equation, we found the values. Now let's plot it. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 
फोर जीरो वन टू सॉरी जीरो वन वन टू थ्री फोर करेक्ट नंबर द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वन पॉइंट वन जीरो एक्स इज वन वाई जीरो दिस पॉइंट सॉरी एक्स इज वन वाई जीरो इज दिस पॉइंट टू कॉमा वन एक्स इज टू वाई इज वन इज दिस पॉइंट थ्री कॉमा टू इज दिस पॉइंट so we have got points like this let's draw the line the line will be something like this right now let's draw the line for the equation x plus y is equal to 3 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 this point x is equal to 3 y is equal to 0 this point x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 this point x is equal to one, y is equal to two. So we have four points. Let's draw the line. This is my line. So if you see, both this line meet at this point, and this point is nothing but x is equal to two, y is equal to one. X comma one. That means I can say that x is equal to Two and y is equal to one is my solution, and x is nothing but length. So length is equal to two, and y is nothing but breadth. That is equal to one, and that is my length. So dimension of my garden is two comma one. That is length is two and width is one. So what I have done here, I have assumed that length is x, breadth is y. Then I formed the equation x minus y is equal to one and x plus y is equal to three. That was the data given in the question. Then we have plotted the graph and we found that these meet these two equations meet at the point two comma. Let's see. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.